Uh, Elma? Relax. They won't bother us if we don't bother them. Yeah, I know what you mean, but... <sighs> Want to be perfectly fair, Liam? These things are pretty scary. Well, let's continue onward! As we just saw, we are now officially in tainted territory, and uh, yeah, please don't bother them. They're gonna. They're gonna wreck your shit otherwise. This is the part where. I find that the atmosphere is just amazing, like the tank of Kara, the rain falling and everything, just the dead environment. It really sells the fact that this place is dead, completely and utterly trashed. Although these enemies, even though they said that if we don't bother them, they they they, they won't bother. If we don't bother them, they won't bother us. Uh, it's a lie. Get too close, you'll get a fight with them, and boy, oh boy. If I do say so myself, Kara, which is uh, the species of this particular enemies, are much more vicious than Grex. Of course, they they look like Grex, they Grexes, and uh, like I said, they're like advanced version of Grexes. So you do have to be careful. However, don't you know? Don't be uh, don't beat yourself off too much. There's only two types of enemies here: and are Kara and. Sin, uh, sin, Sintimur, Sin, Sin, Sintimur. Basically, what I mean, there's only two types of enemies, so it shouldn't be that hard. Go in and fight with them if you want to grind a little bit. It's a perfect place for your perfect type of level right now. There's tons of ways to get loads of experience really fast, and also just loads of uh, experience points for your class too. So I heavily recommend if you want to get a fight with them. All right, here we are on the unexplored territory. Let's, let me just check my equipment real quick, and we'll head to the waypoint. No signs of any radiation. Infrared, motion sensors, I got nothing. This thing's dead as a doornail. Oh man! So it's basically a scale, right? But the make is nothing like ours. Or the ganglions. Where could it be from? Oh wow! I can't even tell what its armor is made of! Is this feeling? It's oppressive. It's pulsing off of this thing. It's almost as if the ghost of its pilot is somehow still lingering. And that material there, at its core, it's dark matter. This must be their handiwork. No, no idea. All right, well, we got what we came here for. Let's call in the salvage choppers and get it out of here. Lynn, contact Commander Vandom. On it. Heading back to. Just thinking about walking past all those tainted again makes my knees all wobbly. Tatsu have just the thing. 
friends fuel up with Tatsu Tasty Lunchbox. Tatsu? What are you doing here? Tatsu knew friends must be hungry, so Tatsu rides spinny plane here to deliver hot meal. Tatsu Hero Pod, after all. Oh, you idiots! You're gonna attract the tainted! Relax, Linley. After quick lunch, Tatsu fly back home on spinny plane before anyone notice. And how exactly do you plan to do that? All the spinny planes have already left. You're gonna have to walk back through all those tainted. We left ten seconds out here. Huh? <sighs> Maybe we can get another chopper here in time. Too late. Like somebody else wants a hug. Tatsu, don't move an inch, you hear? <laughs> Tatsu, you miserable piece of goddamn rabbits! The hell did you do that for? You knew this was a terrible idea from the start, and you just went with it anyway. You, sir, are the douchebag of the day. As would uh, a viewer of the Philip the Franco show. Why am I referring to Philip the Franco show on a goddamn Let's Play channel? Because I'm an idiot, goddammit. You should know that by now. If you didn't, then, then now you do. You know, let's just charge up abilities and now we have to fight the tainted. Like I said, please be minimum level 23 and going out here. Your rest of the team can be level 25 here, but going out here alone if you're not level 23 is suicide. Unless you do have a specific class that you know you'll be good with, uh, otherwise you may have a lot of trouble with this. However, we gave a new ability. We actually gave a class up and we're not level 4, so that it's gonna come in relatively handy. Now, uh, how we get to do is through the Miller combos. And as you can see, this is where the advantages of something like, um, of, uh, what am I saying? The Photon Saber set can potentially be a lot of fun with just the idea that you can combo and trade the Miller combo so fast that, uh, you deal constant amounts of damage so long the rest of the team can take care of something else. So, this is a great advantage. However, I have. Terrible fucking equipment for this. Usually, I recommend something like, I don't know, anything else but gravity base, and since my main weapon of damage is actually gravity base, you can see how little damage I do. Usually, I can do around 1000, if not 1500 uh, units of damage. So, not that this is terrible, but we're definitely not in the best shape possible, especially considering what the fights we gotta do with this. However, we took care of it. Alpha? Good lord. Everyone, take him down. Yeah, this thing is, uh, right to the mighty. Please be aware that you're gonna get s fucked rather easily. So, the taint is fixed! is actually what I would consider to be the evolution of a Carol. As you, as you, as I said beforehand, uh, a Carol is an evolution of what I think is a, um, a, goddammit, of a, uh, Grexus, and the Sphinx is a big evolution over the Carol. The thing is, this thing deals a pack of damage, and not only from a physical standpoint, it can also deal a lot of blast out of area kind of effect of damage. Uh, especially considering that its main range damage uh, capabilities are gravity based, and if you have a standard set, custom set, uh, that you can get from uh, your usual day uh, blade division kind of uh, normal set for melee attack up and anything along these lines, you're extremely weak to gravity based damage, and this thing 
specifies in killing a lot of things that are gravity based. So please be aware that this is gonna be a hell of a hassle to deal with. However, once it gets to half health point, it will call upon more Karos, and uh, that is no good. So what we're gonna do is gonna activate overdrive, change targets to Karo, like everyone listen to what was that, and just deal as much damage as possible, because my god, we're not gonna last two seconds here. As you can see, we're already kind of in a bad position. I didn't even get off that much damage. Oh god, this is... This is not good. So this is what I'm saying. This is the fight where shit kind of gets real for two seconds there. Because, my god, you have to deal with so many things at the same time. And it's the first time you most likely deal with the Sphinx enemy. And you have no knowledge on how to fight this. Which is why I think this is one of the most interesting fights in the mid-game scenario. So, please be wary with this thing on. Because, my god, you will have one hell of a time fighting it if you don't do this correctly. Also, we can stand on Invincible 4, that's that's how powerful Sphinx is. However, we seem to be staggering up pretty cool if we keep stunning it and staggering it, and maybe if someone can get off a topple, that'd be amazing. I think the only per- oh god damn. I think the only person who can actually get off a topple is Lao. Uh, maybe very wrong about this. I'm just off a wrong deal. God damn it, he also has thermal base. Oh my god, it has fire breath. Okay, so apparently I just noticed that he has a thermal base damage. Uh, ability, which is not that good to be entirely honest. Whew, you know what? This fight's kind of getting hectic. I wish I he could die right away, because my god. Also, as you can see, this thing has so much health. Of course, I'm not in my uh, preferred set, and my skills aren't exactly optimized, nor my arts, especially for a fourth and saber set. But god damn it, is this thing able to tank like so many things? Anyway. Let's end this, Starfall Buster. And there we go, we've taken care of it. Well that was fun. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me.
Was that thing trying to help us? Maybe. Or maybe it was just toying with us. Well, I think I could have taken it. <laughs> we should get back to New L.A. I want to stop by the hangar and get a better look at that skell. Right. Oh yeah, we're just gonna walk this off. Every day. Every day I'm shuffling. Good work, people. Commander? What are you doing out here? Did they seal off the area? Actually, I was waiting for you, Lynn. Hmm? Why me? You want to tinker with that new alien mech? Well, I mean, duh. Good, because I'm putting you in charge of research. You help reel it in, you get first crack at it. You and your team risked a lot out there. You earned it. R really sir? Everything's set up. They're expecting you. Yes, sir! Oh my god, thank you so much, Commander! Is this even a skell? I mean, the external armor maybe, but I'm not detecting any known materials or components for the purple frame part. In fact, I can't even find a power source. Maybe it's like an idol or something? To some alien god or whatever? What about a cockpit? Or any space for a pilot? Let's see here. There is a cavity in the middle of the chest area. If this thing is a vehicle, that'd have to be the cockpit. Hmm. Perhaps it's not a weapon? It was abandoned, after all. And in that godforsaken place. But it was also worth the gangly and sacrificing all those soldiers to try and recover it. Surely it must hold some value. Granted. Now the question is whether we'll be able to uncover it. Ms. Ku is one of our best, but we can't expect her to work miracles. If you ask me, that's time better spent studying that Ares of yours, Elma. All right, you wouldn't know what I'm talking about, would you? Let me explain. The Ares is what Elma- Vandom. Oh, right. Those are your orders. Have I made myself clear? Quite. You seem displeased, Gajarg. Perhaps the great hero of Roth does not enjoy taking orders from the Ganglion. Perhaps he feels it beneath him. It appears nothing is beneath me of late. Hmm. I still hear the anger in your voice, the way you spit out the words. Accept your fate. Then you might find me a more accommodating master, Prince Jarg. Oh, but how rude of me. Should I have said, former prince? I never cared much for titles, Counselor Luxar. It's Grand Master, damn you! The entire Ganglion organization is at my command, as are you and your people. I will not remind you again. Oh, but how rude of me. My sincere apologies, Grand Counselor. Hmm. Have you also forgotten the price the Rothian people will pay if you fail me? I promise you, it will not be pretty. 
What will happen if the humans beat you to the prize? Need I remind you of that as well? No, you need not. Then mind your tongue, former prince. Unless your pride can feed and clothe your people. Filthy cur. Yet I will suffer him gladly. 